hey girl hey welcome back to my channel and i need to say happy new year happy new year to my subscribers i am so glad that you are here with me on today i'm so glad that you continue to support my channel and i just want to say thank you for that and i wish you all a happy and prosperous new year so in today's video i am going to um be cooking today i am going to show you a crock pot recipe for chicken spaghetti so stick around for that but before i do that i do need to clean the kitchen because i didn't clean the kitchen last night and it hasn't been clean this morning we just been kind of relaxing and chilling around here and that's okay um but i need to get this kitchen straightened up before i start to cook anything because i, I can't cook in a messy kitchen so that's just one of the things for me that I just cannot do. Um, let me show y'all my pantry. Y'all, my pantry's still intact. If you watched my last video, I did a complete pantry makeover. And um, it is still intact. So let me show y'all my pantry real quick. It still looks good. Look, it still looks good. I am so proud of us. I'm proud of my kids. They've been just, you know, going in there, getting their snacks and stuff. You know, it gets a little messy. Like right there, it's a little messy, but I'll fix that. But so far, so good. We haven't messed it up yet. And I've been grocery shopping, so we are doing really good. But so far, so good. It is functional. Some of my letters fell off. Like I remember I told y'all I had a hard time with this vinyl. I don't know if it was this container or what, but I went and got vinyl from like um, a vinyl store and i normally use it and it's really good but my r fell off on my brown sugar so i'm gonna have to make another one but other than that this is really it's working like i told you guys the kitchen is a it's a mess it's a mess i was tired last night and i did not clean the kitchen we just kind of relaxed and watched a movie and we didn't clean up this morning so this is some of last night and this morning so I'm gonna get this cleaned up first before we start cooking our chicken spaghetti. Guys, I apologize for the change in lighting that's constantly happening. Um, I do have a new camera that I'm trying to learn to film with and I'm still learning the camera. So just excuse that. I hope to have that figured out within the next few videos to where we don't see that constant change in lighting. So I do notice it <laughs> and that's kind of a technical glitch. So just please excuse that.
All right, now it is time to get cooking. You already know that the crock pot that I use is my instant pot um, multi cooker. And I do have a regular crock pot and I do use that sometimes, but I prefer to use this. It's because it has so many different functions on it. It has the option for you to bake. You can do slow cooker low, slow cooker high, you can sear and saute, you can also roast. So it has so many different options. So if you're interested in this, I will have a link to this down below in my description box. All right, here are the ingredients that we'll be using for chicken spaghetti. Now, before I get started, I know a lot of people prefer to use fresh chopped veggies. I am a seasoning blend person. Um, I'm all about quick recipes. So when I do have the time, I do use fresh vegetables. But for the most part, I do use seasoning blend. And if that's not what you want to use, you don't have to. Um, do what works for you. Hey, like Tabitha Brown said, that's your business. But me, I'm using a seasoning blend. So you can chop up fresh vegetables if you like. But for me, I just head to the frozen food section. So you saw me spray my crock pot with some cooking spray. I normally do use the crock pot bags, but I had run out. So, but I do highly recommend that you use uh, crock pot bags. They're just a lot easier for cleanup. But if you don't have them, you can still just spray your crock pot with um, some cooking spray and keep it going. So I'm just putting in my chicken breast here and I'm seasoning it with some seasoning salts and my Kinder's seasoning blend. After that, I'm going to add my cream of chicken, my cream of mushroom, my Rotel, and my seasoning blend. And also at this point, you can add in your chicken broth. Y'all know I don't measure, but I will have all of the ingredients listed down below in the description box. And you want to let this cook on high for three hours or you can let it cook on low for five to six hours. You will have to know your crock pot. Now, um, if you need to leave the house for a long amount of time, I would definitely cook this chicken mixture on low. But this is just not something that I make as a dump and go. I would prefer to make this meal when I am at home and I can watch it so that I can make sure that everything is cooking thoroughly and the way that it needs to. But if you really need more like of a dump and go type of meal, you can cook your chicken on low for at least like five to six hours. Um, but then you will have to know your crock pot to see, you know, how long it'll actually take those chicken breasts to cook. After you've removed your chicken breasts from the mixture, you want to chop them up and then add in your um, spaghetti. And I did have to change cameras right here because my battery went dead. And I'm just using um, just regular spaghetti. I had some whole wheat spaghetti too. And so I just mixed it all in. And then you want to let this cook on high for about another hour. Again, you wanna make sure that you're watching it. When I get you back, oh yeah. I promise you'll never leave. And at this point, you want to add in your chopped chicken, your cheeses, as well as your whipping cream. And y'all keep in mind that these crock pot uh, dishes, they do kind of like hold moisture. They hold water. They're just really convenient for like when you don't have a long time to just be in the kitchen. I like, you know, to use crock pot meals when I have some things to do around the house or if I need to leave the house so that I can just, you know, not be in the kitchen for a long time. So just keep in mind that, you know, um, your crock pot chicken spaghetti is going to have a different texture than the chicken spaghetti that you might make via you know stove top in the oven so just keep that in mind as you're making this and like i said you're going to want to keep on checking it after you put in those cheeses and things you can actually turn your crock pot off at this point and just kind of let the heat cook it um again that's just having to know your crock pot at this point so you want to just make sure everything is mixed in very well and just monitor it until it is all melted and all mixed very well Thank you. 
and here is the finished product so creamy so cheesy so much flavor some people like to take it a step further and add in some um shredded cheese but to me this is enough cheese but you can do whatever you like at this point and you can pair this with any size that you like um, i just paired this with some green beans and some dinner rolls all right guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget that i will have everything for the recipe down below in the description box don't forget if this is the type of content that you like i would love to have you as a member of my youtube family so go on and hit the subscribe button down below give me a thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know that you're here all right guys i will see you next time bye